All right, guys, here we are with episode two, and I've paused the game. So you can pause the game, you can speed it up if you don't know, if you haven't played the first three Tropicos before and the couple expansion packs that they had before. I haven't played this before, so this is going to be totally blind. I haven't played the other two, as I've mentioned. But anyway, we need to build up two farms, so we need to go to food and resources and go to the farm. So, and we can choose the crop. So, here we go. We can choose corn, banana, uh, papaya, pineapples, coffee, tobacco, or sugar. I think coffee, tobacco, and sugar are really high, um, uh, high, really high, like, trade values. So, you earn most of your money through them. But you feed your people, people through pineapple, papaya, banana, and corn. And, as you can see, there's an overlay, the green overlay, and that tells you if uh, the crop's going to grow well in that area. So, papaya needs humid areas, so it's only around this area, and it won't grow well here. Let's see, I think coffee grows up, needs to go really high up, really high altitude, does it? Yeah. So, not low, we need to grow it up, all the way up here, so... We'll grow that up a bit later, so anyway, we need to fill, feed our own people. So we'll do that with a bit of corn, but we're going to have to build it here, I think. It's going to take a bit more time, because it's going to build over these trees and stuff, so... Let's go back to food and resources, build another farm. Let's build a banana farm. Oh, banana farm, what's the banana farm meat? They're relatively high ground. Well, we don't have that here, so... What about papaya? Papaya seems good. It's good a papaya farm. There we go. Hopefully we're not getting in the way of uh, things growing because usually... Because I know the crops grow. I'm not sure if they actually grow out of this circle square or not. But anyway, we need to actually speed play the game now. So I had it on pause. So we have a uh, garage where people have their cars and stuff. But this is my presidential palace my two guards. Actually, I can actually bring my own guy out, my own El Presidente. I'll do that a bit later. Uh, this is where all the construction workers are, so you should see one of them come up. Oh, there's already one up here. He's, oh, oh. The, the scrolling speed is way too fast up here. Like this. There we go. I'll use the mouse. There we go. So he's standing there and everything's happening. Is, isn't, <laughs> isn't he a skilled worker? Yeah, so these are obviously uneducated workers at the construction office. You can improve their wages, so then more people would want to work, but the, all the job vacancies are fulfilled. There's another guy coming up. And you can increase their wages for a better job quality. So, I, all I guess that does, the job quality does in this, is it would uh, make him build faster. You can make, make him building a high construction priority. I can quick build, but it costs, I think, half the money of the actual construction as well. Yeah, you have to add it on. Or maybe it costs double. Actually, I think it costs double, so it is definitely a bit more pricier. Where the hell did one of those guys escape to? Why is he walking away? See? Let's kick, kick on him. What's happening? His rent is $1. Well, the house is nearly built, so he's a builder. Oh, yeah, we can do all these things we can uh, arrest him we can bribe him we can uh, what does that do uh, heretic the, this, the clergy will declare this citizen a heretic. heretic he will not be able to take part in process he made a faction leader be made a faction leader or run for election the respect of the citizen and his family will be lowered we can eliminate him it's five hundred dollars though and the arrange an accident hmm. Because of the covert methods used, no respect will be lost. All right. Oh wow, I found a lot of workers quickly. I have a population of 50. How's this building going on? Nearly built 63%. All right. So I am playing the campaign mode, so uh, I think they do give us missions. As you can see, Welcome penultimate game Presidente. mission. It is me. I love the character caricature style as well. The, drawings and stuff. It's a rather large island. I think, yeah, all the islands in the campaign are the same, so. You guys would have seen it in the demo if you guys have seen videos of the demo, but hopefully this is the first time you're watching this. Well so. done, Presidente. 
Thank the you, Pinocchio. The farms are ready and will soon begin growing food for your citizens. Hmm. All right, remember that agricultural products take time to grow. The first crop will be ready in about six months. The citizens will have to make you until then, so that's not going to be a serious problem. All right, the people rely on you, you to provide food. As the population of St. Clara increases, you will have to construct more farms. Try to building one new farm for 50 citizens. Remember that the people won't eat tobacco, sugar, or coffee. These crops are made, meant purely, purely for profits. All right. Thank you, Dennis. So I guess we're going to have to build churches now. No, finances. Presidente, okay. my name is Antonio Lopez, and I lobby on behalf of the capitalist faction. No, I'm as calm as it gets, so I'm gonna probably get the screen, but let's just see what it says. Greeting the people is great and all that, Presidente, but corn doesn't go much for on the international market. On the other hand, tobacco exports are quite lucrative. I'm sure that if we produce and export some tobacco, we'll extract, attract more inv investors. I can't read today, it's the second clear. Uh, export 500 tobacco. I suggest you build one or two additional farms and set them to tobacco work mode. Okay, well, if the reward is $10,000. Okay. How much do we have? Oh, wow, we only have 5000 Okay, we're definitely going to need to do that then. So, farm. Let's see what does tobacco grow in. Uh, high areas with flow humidity. We can't grow there because it needs to flatten the ground, doesn't it? Ah, oh, there we go. We can grow in here. Okay. Should we do it like that? Let's go up there. Okay. Hey. Freighter left with no exports on board. That's no good. Alright, so, what can I show you guys? Alright. So, I'll show you my own uh, El Presidente. I'm busy ruling. Wait, you come Where to now? Where is he? Oh, is there a little AV there? Alright, look at this. Remember me? Alright, let's zoom in a bit lower. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I reckon. I can bring your own guy out. Uh, you can make him get the buildings, improve the morale. Right. Presidente, Reverend I Esteban. am Reverend Esteban, and I speak for the faithful citizens of this island. Mm -hmm. All right, you have provided food for our people, but what about food for their souls? We must build a house of God and hire priests so that the faithful can pray. A devout group from the U.S. has sent us $10,000 to help us in this endeavor. Have four priests on the island. You'll have to build a new church and hire foreign workers if you don't have educated citizens on the island. All right, well, we don't have um, educated citizens. So we're going to have to build a church then. So churches would be... wouldn't be infrastructure. It would be welfare and economy. And a hum humble religious building... Six thousand six hundred dollars. Okay, where should we build it? I think we should build it here. Yes, here. It's gonna take four percent extra time due to the rough terrain, but that's manageable. Doesn't want to take that one. All right, so we need four priests, but we don't have a. Uh, they need higher education, so I think that was high school that they needed. But clearly, we don't have a high school. All we have is a couple of shanty little town shacks. How many people are building? Is there one person building here? Oh. So I think in the campaign mode for the moment, all we have to do is just listen to the mission. The mission uh, command things. I'm not going too free for all. There is a sandbox mode, which a lot of people are like. The people that are, that are doing the uh, let's play of this game, they're probably going to be doing sandbox as well. So. I might, I might do a bit of sandbox later after I finish the campaign, but I want to do the campaign, learn the game as well, while I'm at it. This is the first time I'm playing it. We can actually speed up the time, let's do that. Let's speed up the time. As you can see, the time definitely goes by fast. Actually, let's check out our budget. Um, we can go to economy. Income is $96. Damn. And the island expenses $1,800. Hmm. Gonna be starting starting to make a lot more money. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, that's a normal speed. Alright, good stuff. How's this going? 
Yep. And what month is it? It's already October, so the crops are growing, as you can see here. And here. Right, if we zoom out, can we actually see them grow? Yeah, they're, go they're going pretty slowly. Yeah. Slowly but surely wins the race, doesn't it? Alright, what else is going on? Is this building taking a long time to get built? The church? Alright, hurry up. There we go, there's another builder. Oh, there's one more. Only one. Alright. We can't actually choose, like, what religion this church is going to be, but I'm guessing, obviously, it'll be, uh, Catholic. I mean, not Catholic, Christian, because, well, it is, it is a church, it's not a mosque or anything. Alright, so, religion plays an important role. Ooh, financial aid. Wow. That is a crap load of financial aid, I must say. Uh, so, we're going to hire priests, so the building currently has no workers. Right, let's manage it. We're going to have to hire some people from abroad. So, $500. But the price for specialists will increase as we hire more foreigners. The worker will arrive on the next freighter. Uh, well, we better so sign more people on. Damn. Alright, well, I guess we're going to have to do, do that then. Hire all the workers that we're going to have for the time being because we don't have a high school. When's the next shipment coming? Oh, it's approaching the dock. There we go. Let's just put it back to normal speed. Mm hmm. Alright. Now, what's going on here? Not much because they haven't started building anything. Alright, Tropico welcomes for new foreign imports. There we go. <coughs> I'm not feeling well, Presidente. There's some kind of a bug going around the island. Probably AIDS. Which isn't really a bug, but... Right. I think I need a doctor. I mean, the island needs more doctors to take care of your local subjects. I would also suggest building a new clinic or two. Improve the healthcare on your island by at least 45%. Right, let's open our almanac. And we can go to... to, 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 to I think it would be people. How about overall happiness and healthcare? Alright, it's only uh, 39. Oh, right, it says here. It's only 39%, so we need to improve it to 45. So, we need. Maybe it you know, wouldn't be food and resources. What would it be? Welfare and economy. That's what we want. We want a clinic. Small clinic that provides healthcare. So, we can choose. Preventative medicine will need, uh, so the patient's going to need 20% uh, less often to visit the healthcare. Um, obstetrics, which is after a member of the family visits the building, the chance of the woman becoming uh, a mother increased by 50%, which is good because they'll increase our population. We've got 62 right now. And gerontology or gerontology increases the lifespan of the visitors by one year for each, up, for each visit up to five years in total. Let's just choose preventative medicine right about now, because I think that's the best option for us. Let's squeeze it in right there next to our presidential palace. Okay, we've got four guards there. Let's just check them out. Oh, oh. oh God. The scrolling speed is way too fast, like when you zoomed in this close. Excelencia? Yes, how's it going? It's 28. You can see his family tree. You can Buenas see tarde. where his mum is. Where's his mum? Let's zoom out. There, there's his mum. So she's 50, you can see her sons and all that good stuff. So this game definitely does go pretty far, like with all the details and stuff. It was interesting, I didn't notice this grid, I don't know what that does, but anyway, alright, let's see, we have a mission. How's it hanging, Ooh. Presidente? Swiss bank account, right. Now that you have your very own island, how about a friendly wager? Alright. I'm talking about a big fishing competition. I bet you can't export 500 fish. How about it? And then we get $25,000 to our secret Swiss bank account. So, how, how the hell do we get fish? I have no idea. Export fish 500. Well, how's that tobacco going, first thing and foremost? Still going. Okay, fair enough. Well, our food crop better be ready soon. 
it ready? Production. Yeah, it's gonna be ready soon. Alright, wait, how's this gone? There we go, production 100, output storage 100. Okay. So we're losing more money off them. But how do, how do we export fish? We need a uh, we need a worker, don't we? How many? Two thousand seven hundred dollars. Well, just a one-off payment. So, yes, we need. Oh, it's a graduate poly, graduate person as well. So, uh, what else do we need? Export the tobacco or export fish? How do we export fish? Let's see. Food and resources. Fisherman's Wharf. Well, there we go. That will go a long way. So the wharf can provide some good nutrition and material for canned food. Oh, that's, that's pretty good. So we need to put it here, I guess. Oh, no. Alright, that's where the fishies are. Ah. Oh, I understand now. I understand. Totally. Alright, let's put that here. We need to join it up to some road. So let's go uh, infrastructure, road. Um, what do you mean there's roads blocking this? Let's do that. And let's do that. There we go. Mm-hmm. That better be a worker. Yes, it's a build, builder. Good stuff. All right. It's good to see. When's the next freighter coming along for our... Um, in about two months. Okay. Because we need a um, college worker for our clinic so we can improve our health care and get... Oh, oh, it's gone down. <coughs> I, I'm not oh, we didn't actually well. get a reward for that. So We definitely need to improve our health care, though. And I think the uh, roads here, they are... Uh, change from dirt roads to like proper roads after a while once like pe people start using them after a while so that that should change because I don't remember this being a actually I think it was a real road when we started what else are we up to this is tobacco crop isn't it yes bueno what's going up here uh, 142 output storage uh, we are losing a lot of money off this To be completely honest, I don't think we need that many workers though. No, me interesa. no, 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 no. I don't want that. I want to do this. There we go. We can stop people from getting a job. There we go. So we don't have to pay that much. You use four on this one. Wait, and what if we do that? Because I was output storage 62. Alright. Alright, so we'll see how much it is with six people. If that changes or anything. Alright. What else are we up to? Well, this will nearly be the end of the first episode as well. But, let's just wait. Here we go, there's a freighter approaching the dock. There it is. Oh, we already built the fisherman's wharf. That's good Good to see. Oh, look, there's a, there's a dolphin. It's not a fishy though. Can we click it? Oh, it jumped. Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. I didn't even notice that. So there's all these seaweeds and... That's pretty cool. Is that a shiny town? Wow. I didn't even notice that before. Alright, so... So I'm guessing... Oh wait, over here is good fishing. Oh, damn. Because it's all green over here. I understand. What's over here? Bit of exotic plants. It's always nice to see. Alright. Uh, one new foreign expert. Good stuff. And a healthcare improved by one as well. Ooh, and we have another mission. Calling all doctors. Alright. Presidente! We need doctors to improve healthcare on the island. Mm -hmm. Alright, so doctors need a college education, but building a college at this time may prove both expensive and time consuming. Try hiring new doctors from abroad. Foreign workers are expensive as well, but they will arrive with the next ship. I will send you some more money to help you with this problem. Hire at least four doctors. You may need to build additional clinics. Alright, well, let's pause it quickly before our money expires again. 
Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Actually, no, we need a f higher four, so. Oh, wow, we got two already. Alright, so. Uh, we need more. One more clinic. Let's put our clinic. Where should we put our clinic? I'm thinking about, thinking about the future, so, like, once we. We're gonna expand out here soon, so. That's gonna get in the way of the road, damn it. We're gonna have to go like that. Alright, anyway. So, let's resume the game. Make him hurry up and build it. Where the hell is our tobacco gone? Are we, we're not trading, exporting it, are we? Okay, we need to change that. We change that by going to the Almanac, I think. I'm pretty sure. And then we go to trade and we go to... So, we're not exporting or importing anything except for the people. But we want to go to here and then, 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 tobacco. I don't know. I have no idea. No, I don't want to allow tobacco imports. I want to export tobacco. And how would we export tobacco? I have no idea. Hmm. Jeez, the communist factions isn't too happy with us. Maybe they're capitalists or loyalists. Um, damn. I forgot how to trade. How do we trade again? I thought, like, I know how to import. But export, obviously, people need to get one of our stuff, one of our, one of our tobacco. So, I have no idea how that works then. How about I do. I just click this. Presidente! My name is Antonio Lopez, and I lobby okay. on behalf. Well then, champ, I have no idea. Oh, there's our fishing boat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. One guy on his boat. Okay. He's got to catch 500 fish as well. What's he? Has he? What's he, Where's he going? All right, he's fishman's job. Fishman's job. How's this going? I don't understand what the sun means as well. I'm going to have to learn all this stuff. How's our building going? Is this guy building it? Just starting. Alright. So, I think this will have to bring an end to the uh, first episode. I mean, the second episode of gameplay. Well, first episode of gameplay. Second episode of Tropico 4. Hopefully, you, you guys are enjoying it. I know I certainly am. It is rather long, but... I think the upgrades, uh, once it's surrendered, it's actually really small. So, this will be an end to the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and see ya!